Hi guys, in today's video, we are going to see a topic which one of our friends has asked on how to configure the mobile device users in Dynamics 365 Finance and Operation. Because uh, as far as your warehouse advanced warehouse management process is concerned, configuring the mobile device is the first step in order to perform any of your advanced warehouse management processes. So that's what we are going to see in today's video, right? So if you're watching this with my video for the first time, my name is Sriram Sivashankaran and I have been posting videos and documents, articles related to Dynamics 365 Finance and Operation. If you want to get regular updates, please do follow my profile, right? So for the sake of common understanding, I've just written three points which we are going to cover in this video. First, we are going to look at how to create mobile device user ID and password for the warehouse worker because these mobile devices will be primarily used by the warehouse worker to move the material or pick or complete the put away process. So they will be using these um, on a regular basis on a, to complete their day to day task. And we will also see how to configure this mobile device worker. So in the same form, we will be able to configure and provide certain user specific worker specific options. So that also we will be viewing in today's video. And also we will be covering about how the emulator if we don't have a mobile device so how we can use the emulator to perform the task so that's what we are going to see in today's video so first we'll see how to create a mobile device user id and password for varus worker in order to do that navigate to varus management module go to setup then go to worker so under the worker so already i have created my worker as a name to access the mobile device but uh, let's say i'm going to create a new worker click on new button and in the worker drop down you will be able to see the list of all the employees who are currently under the employed both the employees and contractors i'll be able to see all of them so first of all so the basic requirement is under the human resource management module you need to have an employee being created so the human resource management module so you need to ensure that the employees are being created for the warehouse worker and then you need to come back over here and create a work user so let's say i'm going to create a, the user id for uh, charlie carson okay so i select the employee and then click on select so the user charlie carson is selected right now and uh, this container packing policy is not required so in case of uh, the packing these packing policies or primarily used whenever uh, we do the packing station operations. So that's the reason um, these are used. So right now, if you want to give any specific site and warehouse as default for this worker, you can give that. Uh, let's say I'm giving a specific site and warehouse as default. Then I click on new. Then I need to give the user ID. Let's say CHCA. So this is the user ID which system will try to use whenever we try to log in with the mobile mobile device so i hit the save button so once i hit the save button it will ask me to update the password so i'm giving a simple password right now let's say i should not say that but uh, the password i need to capture here so it will be it will be actually uh, let's say i need to update the password and then uh, after updating the password i need to confirm the password um, I think it has wrongly updated let me update it again so after updating the password I need to click on set password once I set the password then uh, username I can I can retype it if required Charlie Carson. and the default arrows whenever we open the mobile device by default which particular warehouse you want the user to open up so you can add the warehouse and at the same time you can also add the list of warehouses for which the user will have the access so google is throwing a prompt saying the password is not is weak okay that's fine so so i'll be able to view the list of all the advanced warehouse management enabled warehouses over here so let's say if i select the warehouses and these warehouses these were the warehouse worker will have access to only these or these warehouses in the mobile device so i'll go back the most important part here is the selecting the menu item so first of all i right click and click on view details so you can also navigate to mobile device menu item from warehouse management and then um, then mobile device 
mobile device menu right you can also navigate from here so here basically whatever the menu item which we want the arrows uh, worker to view that's what we are going to configure over here let's say the main menu item i just want him to view the purchase receive test these are the menu item structures which i want him to view so i don't want him to perform any of the outbound transactions so i just want him to view only the um, transactions which are related to main menu right so i just select those menu item so that that's where we that's how we configure it you can uh, simply click on the menu item you can add it so i click on edit you can add the menu item from the left plane to the right pane click on this arrow so that the item will be added over here and here also you can you can play around with this uh, four options by moving it up and down and then uh, based on your requirement and then uh, and then you can uh, and then you can save the menu item right so now i'll go back uh, to the worker so i need to for the charlie cousin i need to tag the menu name so let me tag the menu name so i'll tag the menu name as main then i will hit the save button so i'll copy the user id so i'll duplicate this tab so the thing is like first we have seen how to create a user id and password then we are now looking at how to configure the mobile device for the worker so when we configure the mobile device we need to ensure that we configure the menu item what are the list of options he will see he or she will see in the mobile device menu and also there are other options which will allow them to pick excess material or even during the sales or this is actually allow the users to pick uh, over pick the materials more than the sales order picking list or uh, allow transfer order over picking so these are all configurable maximum percentage also it gives the option for whether the user can do the cycle counting maximum percentage we can do or change the quantity on what is the maximum value so all these are configurable so which you can easily understand i don't need to get into these details but uh, like i said the point number 3 is we are going to see how to use the use the uh, mobile device emulator because mobile device emulator is a functionality which gives the user the access to varos management mobile device interface mobile device interface because if you don't have a mobile device with you and you work in a, basically from a desktop and still you want to access the mobile device menu you will be able to do that so simply copy paste this in url after usm of an mi i'm just copy pasting this execute action varos work execute so once you copy paste this after mi equal to action varos work execute and uh, then if you enter the enter the option then you will have the option to update both uh, both the user id and uh, the password for the users so once the user id and password for the users are updated you can see here uh, let's say yeah so we have already updated for created for charlie carson chca so i'm going to the screen chca and uh, the password which we have already given is 1 2 3 4 5 i know it's a simple password and then i'll click on login so the moment i log in so i'll be able to view the menu items which i have added to the user so if i go to the main menu item so you can see purchase receive test inbound outbound inventory production quality and log off so these are the menu items which are getting displayed over here right so this is how you configure the mobile device menu uh, emulator uh, configure the mobile device for the worker and you can use the mobile device emulator to perform the varos operations without even accessing your uh, um, mobile device so and this emulator is primarily used or a uh, mobile device em app emulator is set to work only for the administrator account because this is not accessible for all the user accounts so make sure that uh, the worker is having only the system admin access otherwise he will not be able to do that so so that is the important part here so we yeah, and so now we have seen how to create a user worker and uh, tag the menu item for the user create a user id and password at any point in time you can come here and you can reset the password uh, whenever you want and then configure the user and you use the mobile device menu emulator in order to perform your uh, um, mobile device operations um, right from your desktop so and the most uh, most importantly do not forget that you need to add this extension in your url in order to perform this task right 
So that's it for today. Hope to see you in another interesting topic tomorrow. If you want to get regular updates, please do follow my profile. Yeah, thank you.